going to prom and looking glamorous is every girl's dream. Too bad this dream turned into a nightmare. When I was a junior in high school, I broke up with my extremely toxic boyfriend, Austin. He was always cheating on me, was verbally abusive, and just not a nice person. And his friend group was exactly the same. And after the breakup, I started to date this new guy, Joseph. We met at my church. He went to a different school than me, but he was the complete opposite of my ex. He was kind, caring, attentive, and just overall a real good guy. Anyway, our school's prom was coming up, and I asked Joseph to be my date. He agreed. At this point, everything in my life seemed to be going good. Until the incident. Prom was on a Friday, and it was held in our school's gymnasium. My girlfriends and I rented a big bus for all of us and our dates. The night was going well. We danced, chatted with friends, and ate really good food. Around 9 o'clock, Joseph and I decided to sneak away from the prom for some alone time. We walked out the back door and headed towards the bleachers by the football field. We were completely alone and instantly started to make out like typical high schoolers when, suddenly, Joseph pulled away from me. I asked him what's wrong, and that's when he pointed at the football field. Standing on the 50-yard line, looking directly at us, were two guys wearing pig masks and each holding a wooden baseball bat. I felt this nervous twisting in my stomach. The one guy on the left oddly looked like my old ex, Austin, the way he was just standing there. Joseph, who was now pissed that these guys were ruining our moment, flipped them the bird and told them to F off. They didn't. They got closer, close enough to the point where I can now smell weed and alcohol on them. The pig masks that they were wearing were cheap, like they had gotten them from the discount section of some Halloween store. Joseph stepped in front of me, telling the guys to back off, but they were not listening. Instead, they attacked Joseph. They beat him with the bats and stomped him into the ground. I tried to push them off, but I was shoved violently backwards. I did the next best thing that I could think of and screamed at the top of my lungs for help. The teachers and students who were standing outside the gymnasium heard my cries and started to run over to help us. The guys in the pig mask saw this and started to run away. But just before the one who I thought was my ex ran away, he turned, looked at me, and slugged me in the face. When the teachers and students got to us shortly after, they helped clean us off and called an ambulance and the police. Now here's how stupid my ex was. While the police were taking our statements about the attack, I got a text from Austin. He sent a message saying, Oink oink, with a pig, baseball bat, and skull emoji. I showed this to the police, and it was enough to go to his address and have him and his stupid friend arrested. My ex and his friend ended up getting expelled from school and being sent to juvenile hall for five months. I personally would have preferred jail time, but whatever. Joseph and I ended up being okay. He had a broken wrist and a swollen eye, and I just had a fat lip and some blood on my prom dress. Not the memories that I wanted for my prom, but oh well. Be safe out there, guys. I hope your prom is nothing like mine. Prom is supposed to be one of the best nights of a teenager's life. Well, in this story, it's the complete opposite of that. And here's why. Prom was on a Friday night. My house was the house that everyone used to take pictures by the pool with their dates. I think there were like 30 people in total. After we took the photos, eight of my girlfriends and I got into a rented limo that was going to take us to the prom. Our dates did not come with us. They had rented their own limo and would be meeting us there. It was all very bougie, I know, but it was prom and we wanted to go all out. The limo had sparkling champagne, the non-alcoholic kind, strobe lights, and even an Xbox. My girlfriends and I were all enjoying the limo experience until I noticed something off. I was the one sitting closest to the limo driver when I caught his eyes glaring at me in the rearview mirror. At first I thought he was just making sure that everything was okay, but 
After the third time that I caught him staring intently, I knew that this guy was a creep. It almost reminded me the way a lion would stalk a gazelle in the wild. When we finally got to the prom, my mind was back on all the fun that we were going to have and not about our creepy driver. I was the last one out of the limo, but as I was getting out, the limo driver grabbed my leg with a thunderous grip and said that if my date stands me up, that he can be my date. I slapped his hand away and told the guy not to touch me and bolted out of the limo. My girlfriend saw how distraught my face was and asked if I was okay. I said yeah I'm fine but did not go into details about the creepy driver. I just wanted to have a magical, drama free prom night. Once we gave our tickets at the door, we met our prom dates inside. We all socialized for a bit but then immediately went to the dance floor. It was at this time when I was dancing to some Justin Bieber song when I got a text. I checked my phone and saw in horror that it was the limo driver. The only reason he had my number was because I was the one who booked the service and my number was on file. His text asked how prom was going and if my date had stood me up. I texted back please do not contact me again and then blocked the number. I wish this is where the story ended. About 20 minutes after that text, I started to feel watched. I know that sounds weird to say in such a crowded place like prom, but I really felt it. I started to scan the place to see if I noticed anything unusual, and I did. By the drink section, lurking in the shadows, was the limo driver. He was standing there, his cell phone out and pointing right at me, like he was recording me. I'm terrified for my safety. I immediately went to the teachers and adults who were chaperoning and told them about the driver. They approached him and told him that he needed to leave now or they were going to call the police. The guy did not even seem phased. He just smiled, blew me a kiss and said that he'll see me later. Thankfully, we were not taking the limo home as it was just a one-way service. After prom ended and I was home and safe in my room, I went to the limo services website and left a nasty review. I tried calling the company to report the guy, but they never answered or called me back. Pretty crappy service if you asked me, especially if that creep is the kind of people that they hire there. I never saw or heard from that man again. When I was a junior in high school, I was in no way popular or sought after. If I'm being honest, I'd rate myself a solid 6 out of 10. I know that sounds harsh, but this was high school, and my self-esteem was pretty much non-existent. Anyway, prom was approaching. No one had asked me to be their date yet, which did not surprise me. But what did surprise me was this quiet kid, now call him Johnny, did ask me to prom. Johnny was quiet and not popular, like me, but he ran in different circles. He was in the math club while I was in the drama club. He wasn't bad looking, just average enough to blend in with the rest of the crowd. I decided what the heck and said yes to his prom invite. Prom was on a Friday. It was held at the local country club. I arrived there with a few of my girlfriends and their dates. We were having a great time and Johnny was actually a pretty cool guy. However, about halfway through the night, that's when things started to drastically change. I started to dance with my girlfriends in a circle. A few boys joined in with us. Nothing intimate, just fun, fast-paced dancing. But as I was dancing with these other boys, I saw Johnny glaring at me from across the room. Anchor does not describe the look that I saw on his face. He looked menacingly at me, and then stormed off. Freaked out, I told my two girlfriends to come to the bathroom with me. We get to the girls' bathroom, and I start telling them how pissed Johnny looked when I was dancing with the other boys. They were in the middle of telling me not to worry about him, when we heard the bathroom door open. We looked to see who entered, but saw no one. We went back to our conversation, when, suddenly, the lights went off. We pulled out our cell phones and scanned the bathroom. I called out to whoever turned off the lights. 
We scanned the walls, searching for the light switch, when my cell phone light shone directly on Johnny. He was standing in the corner, crying but with a violent look on his face. And I asked him if he was okay. He looked at me, with his eyes red and tears spilling down his face, and said that I betrayed him. Before I could respond back, he put his hand up to stop me and said, Sorry, but I have to do this, and then charged at me. We all screamed, but one of my girlfriends was able to kick out and hit him in the groin area. When we saw him fall to the ground in pain, we instantly rushed out of the bathroom and found the nearest teacher and told them what happened. It turns out, Johnny was pretty intoxicated and was dealing with major self-esteem issues. He said seeing me dance with the other guys set him off and he could not control his anger. He was escorted out of prom and actually expelled from our school. And I decided not to press charges or get the police involved. And I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, but it is what it is. What I do know, however, was that my prom night was completely ruined. And to all you hearing my story, I hope your prom night was, or is, nothing like mine. Good night.